Transplants are amazing. I'm a doctor, I learned about this in medical school, and I remember thinking science is incredible. But when someone you love is going through this, it takes on a whole new significance. Listen, humans have been trying to transplant organs, all kinds of things for centuries, and we got pretty good with transplanting skin by the 20th century. This was an important advance for transplantation science because people started to notice that if you took skin from a relative, it died more slowly than that of a stranger. Why? Because of the immune system. The body recognizes foreign tissue. It's like, hold on, this is not me, not mine, so I'm gonna attack it and I'm gonna reject it. And this is less likely to happen with a graft that's more genetically similar. And things start to get more exciting in the 1950s because this is when we have the first successful human-to-human -human kidney transplant. Young man Richard Herrick is in the Coast Guard. He feels pretty well, but people start to notice that his eyes are puffy, maybe he's a little bit more tired. Uh-oh, now his blood pressure is skyrocketing and his blood work is full of toxins like urea and creatinine, which if his kidneys were healthy, they should be able to filter, but they're not healthy. Herrick's kidneys are failing from a form of glomerulonephritis, which at this time is very life-threatening. It's basically a death sentence. So he goes back to see his family in Massachusetts. He's getting sicker, he's admitted to hospital, and he has an identical twin named Ronald. So Richard's doctors in Boston are pretty quick thinking. And here's another example of serendipity in medicine because there's a team over at Harvard that are trying to organize the first kidney transplant, successful one. And if you think about it, kidneys are a pretty good organ to start experimenting with because you're supposed to be born with two of them and you can live a full life with only one. And get this, team over at Harvard is looking for twins. Again, identical twins, same genes, same immune system, less chance of organ rejection. And Richard and Ronald say, yeah, let's do it. On December 23rd, 1954, they go through with it. Dr. Joseph Murray and his team perform a five hour surgery. And at the end of it, Richard Herrick has a new kidney thanks to his brother, Ronald. Richard survives, falls in love with one of the nurses that was taking care of him and goes on to have two children. And he lives for eight more years thanks to Ronald's gift. And this was unheard of at the time. And this gesture, this experience changed the course of transplantation science forever.